If you're looking for a 2x2 MIMO antenna you can buy in the UK, you might have come across the Waveform Dual Plus. So today, we've taken a look at this directional antenna to see if it's any good, and to see what sort of download speed boost you can expect with this antenna. But before we begin, make sure to click the link in the description to the Waveform Dual Plus on Amazon to see the latest deals on this antenna when you're watching this. So the Waveform Dual Plus is a 2x2 directional antenna, meaning it's designed for 4G and 5G routers with two antenna ports. Though you can buy two of these devices and use them in a 4x4 setup if you'd prefer. And the antenna is designed to be pointed at the nearest tower to help you pick up the best signal. So we've explained how to find the nearest network mast and how to configure the antenna a bit later in the video. When you buy the Dual Plus on Amazon, you get everything you need to get started. Essentially, the antenna is designed to be mounted on a wall or a pole, as they show here, and everything is completely weather resistant, including if you live somewhere with a lot of frost or snow. Then you feed the outdoor cables back inside, and the easiest way to do that is with the included window entry cable, which you can shut completely in a window, without letting any draft in, and without affecting the data transmission. You get everything included for both mounting options, including a 20 foot outdoor extension cable, all of the mounting equipment, and TS9 adapters, in case your router doesn't use SMA ports. It is also worth mentioning at this point, the antenna is quite big. It's about 45 centimeters long, and 24 centimeters on each edge of its base. And when we weighed it, it came in at about 2.2 kilos. If you're looking for a smaller, more lightweight solution, Waveform also has a much smaller 4x4 MIMO external antenna called the Quad Mini, which we've taken a look at in another video on our channel. So to get started with the Waveform Dual Plus, the first thing you need to do is work out where best to put it, in order to maximize the speeds and signal you'll get when using it. This process can be a bit tricky, but there are a few really good methods you can use to find out where best to put your antenna. The first way is to use Waveform's free site survey service. If you scan the QR code on the box and text or WhatsApp them your address and the network you're using, They'll send you this really useful map of where the nearest masts are and where you might like to think about putting the antenna. Keep in mind, you don't want to have it too high because 4G and 5G signal can begin to get interfered with if you go above a second story. And another thing you can do is, if you have an Android phone, put the SIM card you're using for 4G or 5G broadband into your phone, then download our signal checker app which we've linked in the description. Once you install the app and accept permissions, tap the button on the bottom right to monitor your mobile signal, and then walk around with the app. Using the score shown here, you can get an idea of some potential spots you might like to test the antenna. Keep in mind, you shouldn't expect a perfect score with this app, because the antenna will pick up better signal than your phone can, so you can still get good results even if the app only shows a score of about 40 to 50. And it's also worth mentioning, the app can give you an idea of which tower you're connected to, which can be helpful in aiming the antenna. Because it's directional, it's best to have it pointed in the general direction at least of the nearest mast. To do this, come to this website, cellmapper.net, click provider in the top left, scroll down to United Kingdom, and choose your provider. Then look at this number at the top of the tower, and match it to the ENB value you see in the app. If you're located here for example, this can give you an idea whether the network prefers to connect you to this mast, this one, or this one. But keep in mind, your phone might behave a bit differently to your router. So take this with a grain of salt and do some testing with the antenna before setting it up. For testing purposes, setting up the antenna with your router is really straightforward. You just need to plug in the two antenna cables into the antenna ports on the back of your router. We're using a TP-Link Archer NX200 for testing in this case, on 3 5G. So we've linked to this router on Amazon in the description if you want to check it out. As we've shown here, you can also use the window entry cable and or the extension cable in between the router and the antenna if you need to. You probably won't need to do this just for testing, unless your antenna is going to be quite a long way away from the nearest power point, in which case you might need to bridge the distance so your router can plug into power. And as you can see here, if you were doing a final outdoor installation, screwing in all the cables is really easy, and you can slide these protective covers over the connections to protect them from the elements. You can also change the window entry cable so that its connections come out at a 90 degree angle, if this would be helpful for a final installation. So once you've connected the antenna to the router, point it towards the mast you want to test, i.e. the one you think will give the best signal, run a speed test and note down the results. 
Repeat this a few times before repositioning the antenna and trying again, making sure to unplug and plug back in the router in between attempts so it can recalibrate and connect to the best 4G or 5G bands that the antenna can access. Pretty soon, we found a good place for the Jewel Plus. This is somewhere we were getting a score of about 50 to 60 using our app, and it also matched one of the suggestions from Waveform when we did their virtual site survey. For us, this was a window that looked almost directly at the nearest mast, on the second story of the house. With our router positioned on this windowsill, on its own with no antennas, we normally got about 450 megabits down and 11 megabits up using 3 5G, which is good but not amazing because our upload speed in particular isn't the best. But with the antenna installed, we generally got much better speeds, about 550 to 600 megabit down and an upload speed three to four times as fast, which is really great to see. We will mention positioning the antenna is a bit tricky. You have to kind of fine tune exactly where it's pointing, which is fairly easy with the mounting equipment included, but does take quite a lot of different speed tests to work out exactly where best to point it. This is even true in cases where you know exactly where the mast is and it's really close to you, as was the case with us. We can actually see the mast from our house, but found that a fair bit of calibration was needed to get these really good download and upload speeds. The Waveform Jewel Plus performs really well if you want a 2x2 MIMO antenna, but for our needs, we actually prefer their cheaper quad mini model. It's really easy to install on the outside of a window, and is much smaller and lighter than the Jewel Plus. But even though this is an omnidirectional antenna, we still get basically the same speeds with it compared to the Jewel Plus, about 500 to 600 megabit down and 30 to 40 megabits up. So for our needs, the Quad Mini performs really well. We think this might be because we're quite close to the mast, rather than trying to pick up weak signal from a long way away, in which case having a directional antenna might be a better choice for you. And it's also worth mentioning, you will need a 4x4 MIMO router to get the most from this antenna. We found it works well with the GLINET GLX3000, though this is a fairly expensive option. To learn more about the Waveform Quad Mini and the Waveform Quad Pro, which is their 4x4 directional antenna, click the links in the description to these products' Amazon listings, or check out our dedicated reviews of them on our channel. If you're looking for a 2x2 MIMO directional antenna, the Waveform Jewel Plus performs really well. It's easy to set up, comes with really good support from Waveform, based in the US, and it offers really good download and upload speeds from our testing. Especially good if you're struggling for upload speed, which can be a common problem with 5G internet in the UK. The main downside to this antenna is the price. It is fairly expensive, but if you don't mind 4x4 MIMO, the Waveform Quad Mini offers a much cheaper alternative, which at our address at least, performs about the same from a speed point of view. Remember, click the links in the description to all of Waveform's different antennas to compare their specs and see what they cost at the moment. And if you have any questions about choosing the right antenna for your needs, leave us a comment below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can.